how to integrate Aspen Plus and MSXO, and why would you want to do it? Let me explain in this short video. So on the flow diagram, you can see casting looping technology. So this is technology I've been working on for the past eight, nine years, actually. So we've got the carbonator here. We've got the calciner over here. So we've got the combustion of fuel and calcination reaction. And then the remaining part is actually waste heat recovery or heat recovery out of that process. So this is the thermodynamic part of the model, right? So it does energy balance, it does mass balance so that we know how much of uh, fresh material we have to put into the system and how much of carbon dioxide we would basically uh, capture using the system. This is retrofit of a uh, coal-fired plant in this case. But what we are interested in usually is uh, how economical that is, right? So, of course, we can use Aspen Economics, right? We can do a mapping of the equipment and then we can uh, work out the economics over there. But then sometimes I pref prefer to develop my own excess spreadsheets and I prefer to do it on my own, right? I prefer to know exactly what correlations I use, uh, what assumptions I make uh, at any point of the economic model. So I will show you how you can use calculator block and how you can integrate that with the MSXO. It is very easy, uh, I would say, using uh, MSXO and Aspen in this way. And why would you want to do it? Well, each time you run the case in Aspen Plus, it will automatically run the economic case, so you can directly see the implication of your change in the design in the economics. So you can see on the left-hand side over here, I've got my uh, technical economic results, right? So just make sure it's a bit bigger, so you can basically see if I've got my thermodynamic performance, efficiency guarantees, and so on. I've got my emissions uh, of that specific uh, well, fuel consumption and emissions. Then I've got levelized cost of electricity and cost of CO2 to avoid it. So this is all calculated within Aspen and in Excel. So if you have a look at my design, specifically with flow sheeting options and calculator, you would see my economic uh, model over here. Let me just bring it up over here and close this. So you see. Once you open your calculator block, you would need to define all the variables that you need to use, that you want to use in your calculation. So you define that directly in the simulation. And then the default option for Aspen Plus is Fortran. Of course, we can code all of the economics in Fortran, right? If you're familiar with it, if you convert, it's not that difficult and you should be able to do it. But sometimes you prefer to use Excel, you're more familiar with it. It's graphical representation of the calculations, so it might be a little bit easier to implement. So if you look at my Excel, you basically change that option to Excel, open Excel spreadsheet, and it will open my Excel uh, spreadsheet. So I might need to uh, change, yeah, you, sh you don't see it yet, you will see that in just a minute, once I change my, yep. Now you see my Excel spreadsheet. So this is the Excel spreadsheet actually uh, integrated with Aspen Plus. So it basically does the sizing for the calciner, the carbonator sizing for the calciner, uh, works out the capital cost of the equipment based on the correlations that I use. And I do that for both the uh, actual system, the carbon capture retrofit, and my reference power plant. Mostly because I want to compare uh, the levelized cost of electricity in both cases, right? So I've got cost of electricity in case of carbon capture, I have cost of electricity in case of coal-fired plant without any carbon capture under the conditions that I assume, right? So those numbers might be different uh, depending on what case you investigate. And then what I can do is I can calculate levelized cost of electricity. I can directly take the uh, specific in intensity of both systems, uh, capital, uh, levelized cost of electricity for both uh, cases, and based on that, I can work out uh, cost of CO2 avoided. So that's why I, I like to in, in, integrate Casio, uh, Aspen Plus, and, Ma and macros of Excel. And that's why I encourage you to do it if you, uh, to, to avoid basically uh, copying and pasting.